Hello guys, another video from my car, as every Friday on this channel, not that much about Laravel, but more about dev career and productivity. But today I want to be a little bit more technical and talk about TDD, Test Driven Development, because I've read a few great tweets about it and there's Laravel podcast about it mentioning TDD. So first Jack Ellis tweeted, never have I written tests before writing code. And it's a great kind of Yoda style of phrasing, means that it's pretty illogical in many cases to write tests first because you often don't know what to write because you haven't even started coding. And the same thought was discussed by Taylor and Matt on the official Laravel podcast recently. You totally should listen to the full episode and I will link that in the description below. But basically Taylor said that he never really worked with anyone who did TDD extensively 100% of the time. TDD makes sense sometimes. Now, sorry about the sunshine here. Now, I don't mean that you should not write tests. This is a different thing. So you should start testing, you should write testing, but TDD, writing tests first, was quite emphasized back in the day, like five years ago. And I remember learning testing from Adam Wadden. He had a great course with Laravel 5 back in the day and there was quite a lot with TDD. But lately, over the years, and Matt and Taylor emphasize it in the podcast, it kind of, the whole movement kind of died down, and there are not that many people voting for TDD in Laravel community or doing it extensively. So these kind of philosophical movements, I would say, they come in waves. So there are people preaching to do TDD or something like that, or some architecture or DDD. And then some people try it, some people don't like it. And then if it's not adopted by many people in the community, the wave kind of dies down. But another kind of side of the coin that I do DDD sometimes on some features, on some functionality. For example, recently I was working on improvement for search on Laravel daily and I thought to implement specific search scenario, but I didn't know how exactly to do that. So I needed to write down some kind of plan of cases. So in case of this search keyword, show that result, order them in this way or that way. And where do I write those cases? Of course, one option is on paper, just pen and paper and write down the list kind of like to do list other option is in the comments of the controller code or routes code. So implement this, implement that. Or you could write the scenarios as tests. So this is sometimes where TDD does help. I don't use TDD as kind of like in the beginning of the project, write the functionality first and then it's red and then you write the code and then the tests become green. No, for smaller features, for smaller scope, it makes sense to write tests as scenario for yourself. So this is where TDD shines on smaller scope. So yeah, this is my kind of train of thought on using TDD or not. What do you think? Do you write tests? You probably do. If you don't, you should. But do you do them in TDD style? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.